Hi everyone, my name is Paul Richards with PTZ Optics and in this video I want to share with you our camera management platform which allows you to add cameras from PTZ Optics into the software to manage them, to change the settings, to gain PTZ control, to add auto tracking functionality and some really great other features such as color correction. So let's take a look. This camera management platform software is the perfect way to add your cameras, preview them, and be able to manage them. Whether you need to change the IP address, change the color settings, or be able to view multiple cameras at the same time. The PTZ Optics camera management platform enables auto tracking through a new video stream we call Snapshot. So you can actually add auto tracking capabilities to your PTZ Optics camera with the use of this software. The camera management platform also includes color correction tools. So you can take two cameras and look at them side by side, manipulate the color controls, and we even have the ability to look closely at specific areas of an image and match the colors between two cameras. Finally, there's a really great interactive documentation area where you can learn about the API and how these PTZ Optics cameras are being sent commands. So if you're into computer programming, we've got a really cool section for you as well. So let's take a quick look at the dashboard. As you can see, I have this in full screen mode, so I'm able to go through the cameras I've added into the CMP software, and I have the ability to switch between multiple cameras. At the bottom of the left-hand panel, there's a plus button here which allows us to search our network for any PTZ Optics cameras that are available, and you'll see they'll come right up. If, you, if you'd like, you can just select all, and add them just like that into the software. Once the cameras have been added, you can easily toggle through which camera you'd like to control, or you can click the cog button to do side by side or up to a quad view of PTZ cameras. So if I click an empty panel and click a camera I'd like to add, I can add up to four cameras simultaneously that I wanna take a peek at and view remotely. Now, one thing to note is that there's multiple modes for viewing cameras. So if I go back to the full screen mode here, by default, you can see we have the PTZ camera control. And so I can zoom in and out and pan, tilt, zoom. I have the ability to do a focus lock. I have the ability to do autofocus, and I can also enable auto tracking. Now, if we right click this video stream, you can see we're in snapshot mode. And what that means, it's an ultra low bandwidth mode where we're taking snapshots every second to create a low bandwidth video stream. We can enable RTSP as well to get a smoother stream, but in order to enable auto tracking, we do need the snapshot stream to process the video and enable auto tracking. Now, as you can see here on the left hand side, as we hover over each camera, we're actually getting a small preview, video preview of what's going on. And we have the ability to choose from PTZ control to color settings to the dashboard and deeper settings into the camera. So for example, as I hover over our 30X SDI camera here, 
I can go from PTZ control to color settings. And as we do that, we open up the ability to start editing all of the exposure, color, and image settings here. In fact, we have a drop down menu to figure out what manual or automatic setting the camera is currently in. Now, one of the nice things about this is we can actually do a quad view and look at two cameras side by side. So if I put this camera over here and I add it into color mode, we now have the ability to adjust two cameras side by side and make sure they're matching up from a color correction perspective. Once you've added cameras and you're previewing your video, you may decide that you'd like to record the video directly to your hard drive for any camera on your local area network. You can click in the left-hand corner of the video panel a record stream button, which will start to change colors to let you know that it's currently recording. And when you're done, it will actually ask you where you'd like to save the test recording or your recording, and it will go ahead and save it directly to your hard drive. One of my favorite features is the ability to have a side-by-side -side view of two cameras and start to do some color correction. So let's take a look at an example here. I'm gonna go down to the bottom left and choose the side-by-side -side option. And I'm gonna choose two cameras that are basically looking at the same type of thing. And you can use a color checker chart or you can zoom into a space on your stage or in your location where the colors should look the same. And what we can do is we can switch to the color settings for both of these cameras and we can start to actually figure out, okay, do these colors look correct and what adjustments do we need to make? Now, one of the things we have here is a color marker. And what we can do is we can drag the dropper onto a specific place. Like let's just choose right above the M, that blue right there, and we're gonna get an RGB value. You can see it fluctuates a little bit just because of the nature of video, but we can go over to our next camera over here, go above the M and click and see the difference between these two RGB values. And one of the things that are popping out to me right now is that the green value is a little lower on our right hand camera than it is on the left. Now, it can be difficult to get these to be exactly the same, but what we can now have the capability to do is double check the color and exposure settings on both cameras and tune them in until we get them perfect. So this is something we'll be releasing new videos on soon to really help everyone color correct, but we believe the tools are here now to really dial in the color correction between multiple cameras right here in the camera management platform software. To control your cameras inside of the camera management platform, make sure you're on the PTZ control option for the camera that you'd like to control. Once you've done that, you have pan, tilt, and zoom controls along with enabling and disabling autofocus, zooming in and out, fine tuning focus in and out, locking the focus, and even turning on auto tracking, which we'll be covering in a moment. You of course have the ability to do presets and you have the ability to set and call presets. If you'd like to set a preset, make sure you click the set button and you can choose the number of the preset that you'd like to set. There is the capability of adding names and pictures to each preset. There's an advanced PTC camera section that can be accessed by clicking the full screen icon in the top right. You can also use game pads, controllers, and keyboards to control your PTZ cameras, which are enabled in the controller section. So the camera management platform has the capability of enabling auto tracking. What you do is in the PTZ control camera area, you can click the auto tracking button, which will enable auto tracking and show you a red box which can be turned on to either to track your body or track a face. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. When we click auto tracking here, what we're gonna see is the body and the face square pop up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it up to where my face would be.
One of the cool areas of the camera management platform is the interactive documentation. And when you hover over the camera you'd like to see, you can click the documentation tab and get all of the commands that are being sent and received to your PTZ Optics camera. It allows you to experiment with Visca and HTTP developer APIs. You can send the commands to the camera and see the responses. So this is gonna be really awesome if you wanna see how to get certain commands for computer programming and see how it all works. The camera settings now allow you to see the current settings on the camera. So you can get device configurations, send those commands, and get the information directly back. So we can get the video command by just by clicking this little plus button here, you can send a command and see the response. So both advanced and beginners can take advantage of our interactive developer API to test out the Visca and HTTP commands against the camera to develop your own software or just learn how the camera works. The CMP portal allows you to stay up to date with the latest news, firmware, and releases for your PTZ Optics camera, and these support resources and firmware files will be made available to you. So let us know what you think about our camera management platform. We're constantly listening for feature requests. Maybe you could join our PTZ Optics Facebook group and let the engineers know what you think.